wasn't worth my time. <laughs> What up guys? <laughs> Jamming over here and I just picked up some Jack in the box. I'm doing big things out here. Got the uh, Jack spicy chicken sandwich. I'm meeting a buddy for a little fishing this morning. It's well 11:14. It's hardly the morning still. We have got everything we need. Just stopped at Dick's Sporting Goods or well Field and Stream with all the fishing tackle and whatnot. And I got another Fate Black rod. We intended on getting another one because this rod is pretty beast, and it's uh, this one that we just picked up this morning is a seven foot one medium heavy fast action and the previous one was a seven foot four it, well the previous one is in here right now but I snapped it so it's about six five right now closed it in our door we have this thing called oops policy 13 fishing where you can get a uh, another one if you just chop it up and send them where the serial number is or you can get another one for 45 bucks so you know that's about as good as uh, it gets as good as it gets and I'm gonna line everything up tie on what I want to get tied on and we will get into it how about that yeah chatterbait which we could get lucky and cover some water here and see what happens happens man I haven't used this one much it's uh, doesn't feel like it doesn't feel like medium heavy fast but it feels a little flimsy I think you know my favorite and I make it multi-purpose is, is seven or just above and then medium heavy fast and that's just what I like and I'll I'll use it for anything there it is. oh yeah <laughs> all right well first one of the day goes to Bryce <laughs> yeah he's using the Guggen Bates the new stuff that one is the bandito I guess I seem to get lucky with them, but the now nah, I say that watch. I'm not going to get Jack. Let me go grab this crankbait real fast. <laughs> New fate black rods debut. Still got the plastic on her tied on a crankbait, the favorite. And we got the old scorpion. Let's see what happens. I got to take this plastic off. It's driving me crazy already. Right We're going to get something today. Oh, hey. Okay. Hey, feels like he's got some size though. Okay. Oh, he looks okay. No, he ain't. I just got him on. I don't have him by the mouth. Okay, so I had him. I'm pulling him in sideways. Oh, Lord. But that's my first one. So, hey, we'll take it. Sexy shad, baby. And, yeah, I mean, when it comes to a lot of other things that I'd throw, I throw, I don't feel as confident with the, with the white, the shad, and the lighter stuff. I feel like it's got to be the green and the blue most times. I just... Oh yeah. Oh, man. oh. Just yeah. <laughs> yeah, check. Oh, he's got one eye? Or no? One eye. No. Yeah. The one eye band. The one <laughs> that's right. That oh man, I just saw one hopping right there. Well, a little further. Oh, doesn't it feel good? Yeah. Yeah, that's what I, that was one of my first impressions. Yeah, use, use it for a minute, get a little feel for it. I think you'll like it. After that one, and then I just got this one, I, I swear, dude, it's all I want to buy. You know, the, the price tag, but at the same time, that one was $279, and this one was like right at $250. That one I bought on Amazon, but it's imported from, uh, yeah. from Japan or whatever. I think I like that one better, though. It's smooth, though. <laughs> yeah, it's addicting. Yeah. It's, it's addicting. Woo! <laughs> yeah, but I'll tie on a. Uh, I'll tie on a wacky rig to that right there. It casts flawlessly. You, you'd be casting, if the wind is blowing at you, still cast right into it. And uh, dude, makes no sense. All right, y'all, we just did a bit of a hike. We're at the second spot. Dude, Bryce has got us hooked up. Look at this place. Ooh, quicksand. Look at don't, this. Don't step right there. <laughs> don't step right there, don't. he says. All right, I don't want to talk too long, dude. I want to get right into it because he says there's some big fish in here, so I'm going to get after it. But, uh, yeah, you guys just hop on the GoPro real quick. We got the scale ready. I'm going straight for, straight for my comfort lure. Oh, shit. There he is. Oh, no, he's healthy. Here we go. First one out of the pond. 211. All right, y'all. First one at the new spot. Just over two pounds. Toss him back and get another. 
He is off. All right, time for number two. All right, the crankbait is hot. Yeah. Look how big that crappie is, man. Huge. Man, on a bladed swim bait. <laughs> Who would have thought? That's a that's a crappie, my man. You hungry? Want yeah. some fish sticks? <laughs> Look at it go. You're just chill. Yeah, he doesn't even care. That see. <sighs> species angler. The hidden gem. What if we grab this guy right here? This big old twig. I think you can reach him. Oh shit, bro! I'm ready for him now, dude. I'm waiting for him to hit it right here. Right. <laughs> now it's not gonna happen. So like these are all gookum baits. If you want to take those, those are all different ones. No way. The action of the Mondo Worm's tail is insane. That's awesome. That'll do some damage. Right. Dang. You wanna try one? No, I'm not you about to lose one of these. Out, no, no, no. You take sure? It. Yeah, take it. <laughs> well, let me take the one that's open or something. Which one do you want? It doesn't matter. Oh, Lord. It doesn't matter. I appreciate it. Yeah, dude, I'm gonna put this to use. You better believe it. Oh! Where was that? That was right there. I'm on it. No. <laughs> I got a backlash. Got to have these brakes on too. This is the proper setting for braid. I'm just slacking anyways. And the reason why I got that backlash and then reeled it in really fast is because I didn't want this chatter bait to get hooked and sunk down even lower. So I uh, reeled it in and got that one problem out of the way, which was me not being able to get the chatter bait back. Dang, we just saw a big one jump over here, guys. You know what? I think he was right by this log though. Oh, it's like quicksand. Oh my gosh. Dude, it looked really dry. I just sank a foot in there. I'm gonna see if they'll bite on this worm real fast because I am I bet you we're gonna get something good. I'm gonna try the crankbait again. I think I was onto something, I'm messing up. And if it starts beeping at you, then just holler at me and we can either switch the car to the battery, but it's gone. All right, that works. You can see the big rock right there? Yeah, I'm gonna try that. Yeah, stand that, yeah, and cast out. Got him. Got him on the Mondo. They're good out there. Come on. Just ate it. Swallowed it. Look at that. That's a good one, too. Take a gander at that belly. Here. Let's see what he is. 2.2. 2.2. Easy money. Like, only a few casts in. That's it. That one's the Mondo worm or something else? The Mondo worm. That's it, yeah. Look at that nice. Look at him go. But he's still right He's there. hanging out. And I said good cast. Was that that cast? It was. Oh, dude, you had it right along yeah, the greens. Was, yeah. That was perfect. Yep. No way. Whoo! That's on the Guggen baits. That's the Mondo worm. So, well, he's got this spot locked down. I'm going to try the other side real quick. Let me just take the stairway down to the rock. Oh! oh Wasn't worth my time. <laughs> dude, I think this is slippery. Dude, I think this is the money spot. Oh, he's still going after it. Yeah. <laughs> he's not that big though. <laughs> oh, come here, buddy. <laughs> That's how we do it in the pros. Uh, dude, he's healthy. I mean, he's two, but... Uh, we're going for the fives. Oh, I'm packing up a little bit. We just, uh, I met the owner. <laughs> Bryce already knows him, but cool dude. He's uh, kind of inviting us to show us a couple other fishing spots, it sounds like, on the property. I think I caught like three or four, and I had about two come off the hook as well. So it's been a fun day fishing, y'all. We'll catch you on the next one. <gasps>